What's going on everyone? In this video, we are going to talk about file management and networking in WSL2. So let's get started. All right, so one of the coolest things about WSL2, especially when you install a Linux distribution, for example, um, I have installed Ubuntu on my um, Windows machine. One of the coolest things about WSL and installing a Linux distribution in Windows is that uh, WSL allows you to access the file manager or the, or the file system rather uh, through the um, file manager application in Windows. For example, if you open if you open the file application or the file explorer, if you scroll down and notice that um, Windows when you install a Linux distribution, you can access that file system through a, um, I guess uh, it maps the drive, the, the file system, the Linux file system, it maps the drive here on the left pane. So notice that I have a drive here that says Linux. If I click on it, it'll give me access to my Linux distribution which is very convenient. This is something that, as far as I know, uh, no other um, virtual environments uh, allows you uh, to do this in this way. Most virtual environments like VirtualBox or VMware, when you create a machine and you install the operating system, uh, the virtual environment creates a file for the hard drive. So, you know, there are many ways you can you can mount a virtual hard drive and access it in this way. Uh, but uh, Windows and WSL do this uh, right off the bat, very conveniently. So if I click on Ubuntu 2004 and notice that I can access all the, uh, the files and folders inside the um, Ubuntu distribution. So, for example, I can double click on my home directory and my username, and these are all my files and folders inside my um, home directory. I can create a file or a folder. Let's go ahead and create a new folder and call it test. Okay. Let's go now to the terminal and go to my Linux distribution. This is my Linux distribution here. If I do ls minus l, this is the test directory that I just created. This is very convenient. I can do the same thing here. Uh, make let's create a file touch hello.txt. Um, let's go back into the file manager. And this is the file here. Hello that actually that is hello.sh. Um, did I create a hello.sh or hello.txt? Let me make sure that the file was created. Yeah, it's right here. Hello, that text. Maybe we need to refresh uh, the file explorer. So right click on it, click refresh. And here's the file. Hello, that text. So uh, that is the first thing about the file system and file management in WSL. The other thing is that you can access. You can go the other way around. You can access the uh, Windows, your uh, your C drive in Windows uh, through the uh, Ubuntu or Linux distribution. Um, and that is usually done uh, accessing the mount uh, folder. Um, when Ubuntu or Linux is installed using WSL, it mounts the C drive under the uh, MNT directory. So if I do ls minus l MNT, notice and that I have a C drive here mounted. And so I can access my Windows system files by uh, doing CD MNT C. So if I do LS minus L and notice that now I'm inside my Windows C drive, I can go to my home user profile by doing CD. Uh, I guess that would be users users um, then followed by your username press enter and these are my 
the document inside my um, home user um, directory. Um, you can access the documents directory and I'm showing you everything that I have inside my computer. Uh, you can you can see the into the pictures directory. I mean, you can access your home directory from or any directory inside your um, Windows file system from within Linux. Very convenient because sometimes you need to move files and folders uh, between the guest operating system and the host operating system. And this is very convenient, uh, especially for developers. Um, so that is one thing. The other thing that I wanted to show you is uh, about networking. Um, if I do ifconfig, notice that this is my IP address. This is a private class B IP address, 172.19.12.91. Um, by default, when you install Linux in WSL, uh, the machine is not in your uh, physical network. The Windows operating system creates a virtual network and it plays the machine there. Um, if you want to ping or find out the address of your host operating system, meaning the, uh, the Windows operating system, and do an ARP A, and this is going to list the uh, computers inside your network. And notice that I have a Wintop home.net um, and the IP, the IP address is 172.19.0.1. So if you want to go ahead and ping, just to make sure that you have connection. And yes, we do have connection. I do believe that uh, this is the, the IP address that WSL assigned to your um, Windows operating system inside this network. So you can have communication with the um, the Windows machine and the uh, guest operating system. If you wanted to access, um, if you wanted to access the uh, the WS the uh, Linux WSL installation from the um, from the Windows machine, let's say for example that you have a web server running on uh, on the Linux operating system. I believe that you have to access that using the local holes. In this case, I don't have a web server. Um, in the Linux uh, operating system, but I believe that if you type localhost followed by the port number, column port number, it'll uh, connect you uh, to the Linux operating system in case you're running a web server. Um, I believe the same case is if you, for example, if you're running, if you're running a, an SSH server, and notice here that I have an SSH server running here, I can go to my PowerShell and try to establish an SSH session um, to my uh, Linux operating system using a local host and press enter. Um, in this case, I have an error. Apparently, I need to uh, create a certificate and add it to the known host um, certificate list. But basically, yeah, that's how you uh, communicate between uh, the host operating system and the guest operating system. Um, there's not a lot, a lot of configuration that you can do as far as the network uh, for the uh, virtual, oper virtual operating system. Um, the way that you communicate from the Linux to the host is through using the IP address. Um, another place that you can find this IP address is inside the itsresolve.com file and this is your name server here which is basically your windows operating system is acting as a name server and as a default gateway and so uh, can we ping the outside world can we ping the internet let's find out i'm going to say ping google.com and yes we have communication with the outside world and can we ping a host inside your uh, physical network, inside your physical local network. Let's find out what is the IP address of the uh, default gateway. 
Okay, so this is my default gateway, 10.0.0.1. And let's see if we can paint that from inside WSL. So I'm going to say 10.0.0.1. And yes, we do have access to computers inside the um, local LAN. 